something terrible has happened. In all these episodes that I have recorded Lord of the Rings Online, not once has this happened, but for some reason, the commentary audio track got corrupted when I tried to render this episode, so I lost the commentary. So you're hearing different voice for different gameplay here. I'm just going back and adding the commentary so I can read the quests here. What do you well done indeed. Hopefully this will keep Angmar at bay for a while longer. Well done. Greetings. I will inform the others that we have less to fear, but these are still dark times and there is much to be done. So I do apologize about this, but I'm having to go back and do the commentary after the fact. Pretty frustrating. Hopefully it will never happen again though. How can I be upset? You alone accomplished what we could not, Kippen. We are so few in number, and without Goladir to guide us, we feared for the worst. I can only hope that you possess the spirit to face an even greater threat. There must be one that leads the Mare Vale to our doorstep. Alright, so... Again, the commentary is not going to feel as natural here, because it's not natural. Could I and I apologize for the 20th time. You have done well so far, but I have need of your services a bit further. There is a nearby cavern area where the Mare Vale live. They are led by one of the evil Morvale lieutenants, if such a word applies. Her name is Ierville, and she haunts us even in our dreams. Please remove her threat at once for all. Then return to me when the deed is done. This will be no small task, and you should gather an ally or two to help you, Kippen. Could I speak with you, man? Your courage and grace gives us hope, Kippen, but as I told you, the threat is not yet vanquished. You must go to Karn Doom, though you should speak with Glynn on the way. He is in a small lookout camp past the gates of Karn Doom. Speak with him quickly. We must attack before the Mayor Vale return. Yeah, I'm pretty upset about the audio corrupting because this was actually a really cool episode if I remember correctly. What Did you find Rangnol? Ah, that must be the scroll he told of. Let me see it. Might I take a moment of your time? I fear we have been deceived, Kippen, for this scroll is written in black speech and may say nothing of value. I cannot say for black speech is not a tongue with which I am familiar. Even so, I would know what this says. Perhaps the elf Lairdon may have some proficiency in this writing. He is an old friend of my father's and is here in Gath Fortner. Take the scroll to him and ask him for his opinion. If it may help us free my father, then we must learn its secrets at once. So it's kind of hard for me to think about what I was talking about when I first recorded this episode because I recorded it weeks ago actually. I'm just now in the process of editing some of these. Well what done Kippen. Need? Now at least for a short time the Hillmen will see that there remains opposition to the Iron Crown. Until our banners are discovered. The last of the Iron Crown are drawing near. The last days of the Iron Crown are drawing near. Alright, I think here I am looking for Lairdin. It's probably what I'm doing here. I could have just uploaded this episode without commentary, but... I don't know, I feel like this may be a little bit better, even if it's a scatterbrain commentary. Yeah, I think I'm just looking for Laird in here. There's not really any quest ring up on the minimap. And I'm always lost in the game, so that makes sense. Thank you for helping us, friend. We must take these broken weapons and deliver them a message. No longer will they wreak havoc upon us. Might I take a moment if you Here, take back the broken weapons you brought me. Take the pieces and place them upon the altars scattered throughout Himbar. The High Priest of, Ang of the Angmarim used these shrines to honor the Dark Lord of Mordor. Such a display will strike a blow to their morale and allow our friends the time they need to move north. You will find the Angmarim and their altars scattered across Himbar. What do you Your need? actions saved Muladin from certain doom, but the enemy is resourceful and will find a way to the safe haven. We must show the Angmarim an even greater a gesture of strength. If they resume their attacks, I fear the worst. So 
So it looks like I still need to speak to Lyrdan at this point, but I don't know if I just decided to come back to it later. Now these quests here are instance type quests that you can do over here at the banners. And I'll come back to those later, later on in the season. But for now I'm going to skip over them because they'll require a group I think. I think I'm going back to try to look for Lyrdan one more time here. Now, I know some of you may be put off by the weird commentary this episode, but I urge you to stick around and not skip this one because I'm going to actually be doing a pretty cool instance pretty soon, I think. My heart cannot say Alas, but I have never taken the time to learn the cruel muttering of the orcs. I have no desire to speak with them by any means save my sword. If this scroll did indeed come from Karn Doom, Elrond Helfoven may have an interest in it, and he assuredly knows the black speech. Go to Rivendell and seek out the master of the last homely house if you would know the answer to your riddle so they are sending me everywhere but yeah there's gonna be a pretty cool instance here related to the epic books which is mainly why I'm upset that the commentary screwed up because I spent a lot of time actually just running around in that place and exploring it and just kind of appreciating it. But I guess we lost all my train of thought during that time. Now I think here I am going to try and make my way towards Rivendell with the swift travel. So I can talk to can Elrond. Sure enough, that looks like what I'm doing. Silly of me, I do have a swift travel skill to Rivendell. I didn't have to go all the way to the stable here. Okay, Mr. Elrond. Dark days are coming. What is this? You were sent to me by the daughter of Golodir and by the elf Lairdan? What a strange fate has brought you hither. The shadow of Angmar has grown with the shadow in the east. Give me the scroll, I will unravel this mystery for you. A strange fate brings you hither. Lord Neil's hopes were not wholly in vain, for this scroll does indeed reveal a way to pass the gates of Karn Doom. The scroll tells of a special key needed, forged by a dire black iron found only in the foul pits of Angmar and the secrets of its crafting. I believe such a key could be made of Mithril, for the strength of Moria's silver may overcome whatever resistance the lock may give. Unfortunately, we have not Mithril to use. Perhaps you should seek the aid of Lord Dwalin at Thorin's Hall in Erluin. The dwarves know best the secrets of Mithril. It is they you should speak with. I have transcribed the contents of the scroll into Westron. The dwarves should have no difficulty reading it. Alright, so off to Erluin next is what it looks like. Let me see what sort of milestone skills I decided to use. This is very weird doing the commentary after the fact. It feels very unnatural for me. I think I'm going to the Shire so I can take a pony to Eridluin from there. That's gonna be the route. Alright, time to speak with Dwalin about Mithril. Greetings. Greetings, Hobbit. You have come from Elrond of Rivendell. 
then you will have the aid of Duren's folk. Let me see that scroll. Will you stay and speak with that we can forge this key, I have no doubt, but there are some items we will need before we can begin. Master Elrond's instructions say that we need Mithril, but there is none to be had in the Blue Mountains. Also, we will need something to cast a mold from. Now, one of the gifts Bilbo took back from the Lonely Mountain was a nugget of Mithril. I doubt he understood its value, so he probably left it behind when he returned to Rivendell. However, he may have given it to the Matham House in Mikodelving. Perhaps the Keeper of the Matham House can help you with that. As for the casting, Atli Spiderbane sent word that the Arket Guards found a ruined key among the bodies of the Blackwolds. John Brackenbrook may still have it. If their leader was from Angmar, as I have heard, it may be that the key is just what we need to cast the mold. Alright, so gonna be sending me back to some familiar areas at the Matham House and also John Brockenborn. You may remember him probably within the first five episodes of this entire Let's Play back in Arquette. So I really do enjoy some of these epic quests that kind of send you back to areas you've already visited. It's pretty nostalgic. It looks like I already fast forwarded here. Alright, John Brackenbrook. How can I be of service? Greetings, friend. What may I help you with? You say you have come all the way from the Blue Mountains to retrieve that old ruined key we found among the Blackwolf's belongings? It is true that it was found among the things we believe were Calder Cobbs, which is the only reason I kept it. It's quite useless. Here, may it assist you in your endeavors. Perfect. So next up, I do need to go to the Matham House. And I guess I'm going to Rivendell and then traveling from there. And the Matham House sits atop this hill here. I will come back to this area to show off the Hobbit reputation eventually. But for now, let me just do the quest. Good day. Hello there, what can I do you for? A Mithril Nugget? Never heard of it. Oh, you mean that chunk of silver old Bilbo brought back from his adventures? I thought it was too light for real silver. Well, it must have little value then, and I don't see why we should keep it. You're quite welcome to take it. Here. He's a terrible Matham House owner. The Matham House serves as sort of a museum for trinkets for the hobbits, and the poor guy here doesn't even recognize priceless Mithril when he stumbles upon it. Whatever, it works though. So I got all my ingredients. Was this the episode where I did the instance? I think it was, yeah. So we should be coming up to it pretty soon here when I turn in all of these things. Alright. Well met. Ah, I was right. The hobbits did indeed have Bilbo's nugget. I hope you didn't have to hurt anyone to get it. Foxtail didn't even know what it was. Well, it should be no surprise to me. A hobbit would not know truly precious metals if you gave them a hoard. And I see you retrieved the key from John Brackenbrook. We have all we need. Go now and take these items to Litley by the forge there. He will get started on that key. So there is Litley. Master Smith. What do you want? So you're, one, you're the one that Dwalin was talking about. You have the Mithril, I see, and that foul key from the Angmarim. 
All right then, give me them here. I'll get started on smelting down that Mithril. The problem is that there will be a problem shaping the metal. Perhaps you should speak with Dwalin. I'll set the Mithril in this bed of coals over here. There, that won't take long. Now, there's still a problem shaping Mithril isn't easy. Tales tell of a special shaping hammer uh, that is needed for such fine work. I have no such hammer, nor have I ever seen one. Best tell Dwalin that I am to if I am to complete this work for you, I'll need such a hammer. Go on, let him know now. A Mithril well, shaping met. hammer? Bah. I've seen but one of those in my entire life, and I've not seen one since. Oh dear. Will you help me? To work with Mithril, you will need a special hammer. So special, in fact, that we only have had one here in Thorin's Hall. Thor's hammer. The hammer of Thorin's grandfather, which Thrain brought here. Of course, since we never had any Mithril to work, we never used it. When most of the Longbeers moved back to the Lonely Mountain, the hammer got left behind. And as an insult to us, I'm sure the Dour Hands took it and placed it in Skorgrim's tomb as a tribute to him. At least, that is what one of them told us. We tried reclaiming that tomb, but it seems cursed. Vile things started lurking in the shadows there. I would say that we should just let it lie there, but this task of yours is important enough to warrant opening the tomb again. You'll not find any dwarves willing to go in there, so you will need to retrieve the hammer yourself. The tomb lies to the south of here, in the Berghold. Alright. Again, I do apologize if my reading is a little bit out of sync with the text, or is not flowing as smooth as usual. It's harder to do this post-commentary than it would seem. But we are about to enter Thor's tomb, which is the instance I have been alluding to. It's really exciting. There's a lot of lore involved with it. Thor's hammer. Thor, of course, father of Thrain. Who's the father of Thorin? Thorin Oaken Shield, of course, from the Hobbits. Exciting stuff. And there it is. Pretty fancy door. Dwalin, Lord of Thorin's Hall, has tasked the heroes of Eriador with recovering Thorin's hammer from the tomb of Skorgrim, where the dour hands have enshrined it as a memorial of victory over Durin's folk. And I love this song here. Such an epic, epic soundtrack. And it looks like I was actually stopping to appreciate it on the playthrough here. Wouldn't surprise me if I made a comment on it when I first recorded. I think this track is called A Lament to Oakenshield, if I'm not mistaken. It's one of my favorite ones from the game. And look how epic this place is. So many places to explore. Lots of whites to kill as well. God, man, this song makes me want to stop recording the commentary and jump into the game and just play it. I love it. I'd be curious to know, what are your guys' favorite tracks from the game? If you want to leave it in the comments, I'd like to know. There's so many good tracks. I can't pick one, but this definitely has to be up there. Some of the music from Rohan's really good as well, but that's going to take a while for me to get there. So if I remember correctly, when I did this, I just cleared the entire tomb and explored every nook and cranny. I didn't do it very efficiently because I was really trying to explore and just appreciate it. Because this is really the only time that you get to come in here during the game. You can't come back to it. And they did such a good job developing this mini instance here that I wanted to appreciate it as much as I could. Hopefully you will as well. Oh, 
I like that white on the right. With no arm. His torso's melting away. He's got no head. It's a very detailed area. And the illumination with these rock crystals here. It's going to be a theme that you're going to see within the Mines of Moria when I finally make it over there. Which is sooner than you think. We're almost there. Only three more maps after Angmar. And I can finally go beneath the mountains. I don't know what I was pointing to on the mini-map there with my cursor. I think maybe I was pointing to all the red dots indicating how many enemies there are here. It's very saturated. Those arms are so slow, it's hard to bunch them up to do AoEs. But it looks like that's what I'm trying to do. It's just AoE things down. And again, it looks like it's tricky to group things up here since there are ranged units, as you can see. I get really frustrated when that happens. I think that guy will bleed out from my dots. Gonna try to bunch some enemies up, try to be efficient, of course, as always. We'll see what happens, though. It's a pretty good chunk here for AoEs. So I'm just gonna take care of this guy, looks like. There's not many other enemies around. Back towards the main area, it appears. Oh, that guy wasn't getting hit by the AoE. That kind of sucks. He was a little bit too far away, it looks like. And there's still the entire left side of the map to explore, so I will be doing that before hitting up the main stairs. But look at all these statues here. It's just so epic. I love this place. If my hobbit were a Middle-Earth archaeologist, he would be loving every second of this. But he's not. He's fighting for his life against White. Not entirely pleasant. But I've got a creeping arm that is lagging behind over here, keeping me stuck in combat. So I am going to go up the left side here as well. Can't go through there. That's a forced barrier. But there is another bridge. And there are traps here, by the way. Indiana Jones style. Just got to be careful with that. I think it's an instant death, if I'm not mistaken. So I am going to come up through here. I 
I think I was taking a second to appreciate the view there. It is quite epic. Can't deny it. So there's really not much going on up here, looks like. It leads to a sort of dead end. So probably can move on. Through the main area here in the center. And I think I'm just double checking here. Making sure I don't miss anything. And it looks like I did. So. There's this little nook here in the corner. hate those ranged units, man. They're so frustrating for AoE-dependent characters. Creeping arm here. Alright. Was that everything? That may have been... Everything. But here again, I think I'm just double checking. Doesn't appear to be anything on this other side. And that guy looks like he bugged out. He was too scared to jump down from that ledge. He's a sissy white. Alright, so... Gotta time this. It's important. Again, I think it's an instant death if you get hit by it. So I played it safe. I waited probably longer than I had to. Just went one by one. Alright, and there is... Fair to mill. Looks like the boss shade here. I greet thee, thou hath, co hath come far. And I will not disappoint thine expectations. Thor's hammer shall be thine. If thou art able to defeat me in battle, thou must fight within these bounds and no further. Let us begin. Alright, so can't get knocked back or anything. Man, reading that old English is harder than it seems. Too many THs. Thief sounds. Not a fan of those. Don't like sticking my tongue in between my teeth. Doesn't feel natural. But that's besides the point. The shade is defeated. And looks like the hammer was already on him. It's in my inventory. And doesn't look like there's anything up there. Maybe there is. I don't remember if I was able to come out through the here or what. And I think I was just taking one last glance there to appreciate the tomb. And I don't have permission to use that. Okay. So I guess I do have to go out through the front. Can I really use my horse here? I guess not. Then I'm leaving the instance. Alright, so back to Dwalin. Thor's hammer. I never thought to see it again. Your efforts will not be forgotten, Kippen. Quick now, take the hammer to Litley, and he will get to work on your key.
What ah, you, you found the hammer. Excellent, Kippen. A chance to work more your silver. I never thought I'd see the day. Come now, let's get to work. Fortunately, your timing was perfect. While you were gone, I used the cast and made the blank key. I must admit, I've not been this excited in years. Here we go. He is hammering away. There, it's done. Mithril is quite a wonder. I've never worked with anything quite like it. Will you help me? Ah, the key to Khardoom. Who would have dreamed anyone who would, would wish to enter that accursed city? Well, there is little else I can do for you. You should return now to your task. Good fortunes to you, Kippen. Alright. And I think... Yeah, it looks like this is the end of the episode. So I think in the next one, I'm probably going to be meeting you back at Gath Fortnir. So thanks for watching. I do apologize for the 500th time about the problems with the audio in this one. But it happens. When you record this many episodes, you can expect things to go wrong sometimes. But thanks for watching anyways. See you next time.